Okay, what we got here is some speakers I put together with uh, Dayton Sound Exciters, which some of you guys may have seen on Parts Express. Let me show you what I got here. I took some aluminum sheet 30 thousandths thick and sheared it 12 by 12 inch and I stuck the sound exciter uh, approximately in the center of the sheet you can see it's stuck on there and I also made a little plastic puck so I could I could mount it to these uh, tripods that I got them on and you can see I've got a wire going up here to a little tweeter that I bought from electronic surplus store for a dollar I don't even know I don't have any specifications on the tweeter I just picked them up because I was actually going to make a set of headphones with them, but they worked really good for this. Um, you can see I've got on the aluminum backing here, I also used a piece of foam board, which this stuff's commonly used to mount posters and pictures on. You can get it from any, uh, any craft shop. Um, it's black just because I sprayed some black spray paint on it to make it look a little bit better. Although, actually, I think I made it look worse. But... Um, the pieces are actually held together with scotch tape. If you look, you can see the pieces of scotch tape, one there in the center, a couple on the corners. But um, I was really amazed with how these things sound. Here's the amp I'm using. It's a uh, tube amp, KT88. But uh, I'm just driving it with the CD player. Let me shut the fan off here so you guys aren't hearing that. Let's... Uh, see how it sounds got some some Steven stills here I thought that was a, a good example because it's got a lot of acoustics and it's got some low frequencies too Oh, also I've got a 12 inch subwoofer it's a non-powered subwoofer actually it's a Radio Shack subwoofer so it's just a cheapie but I'm using that and I'm using the homemade speakers as satellites so let's let's see how it sounds I think it's pretty impressive for $17 worth of stuff. Some paper, some aluminum. I really did not expect to get this kind of sound quality out of these. And actually, 
you can see I've got a stack of Bose speakers here. <clears throat> I've got these guys hooked up now as my primary speakers on my tube amp. So, uh, I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. You should definitely buy a couple sets of them and play around with them. They're pretty fun.